What's up guys? Kurt hanging out here at the cabin for the first ever Finger Style Friday. If you're in a rush, you can skip ahead to right here for the start of the lesson. If not, keep watching and I'll show you around. If you learned something in this video, make sure to spike that like button. It does make a difference. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button right now to learn guitar as fast as humanly possible. And finally, let me know in the comments below any song or video requests, and most importantly, what you think of Fingerstyle Friday. Should I keep it going and make more, or cut it off right here and have this be the only one? Alright, we are on set today, filming my first ever... Hold on a sec, let's make this a little more comfortable first. That's better. One more thing. There we go. Where was I? Right. We are on set, filming my first ever music video and possibly the first video I've ever actually filmed outside of my studio. So we're gonna be here filming for the next few days and you can expect that video whenever I get around to editing it, should be sometime in the next few weeks, but I'm really excited for that, so stay tuned and check that out when it comes out. I figured I'd film a video while I'm here because I'm trying to stay on a more consistent video schedule, which is actually surprisingly tough to keep on track of. Okay, so enough of the chit chat, let's get to learning. Today, we're learning to smack the guitar like Ed Sheeran. Just a quick note for my patrons, you can grab the bonus package for this video from my Patreon page right there, and the link's also in the description. So Ed Sheeran uses a lot of percussive hits and techniques when he's playing his songs, especially when his live shows. If you've ever seen a video of him playing live, usually it's just one guy, just Ed on the stage, and he uses a looper pedal to layer multiple different tracks on top of each other and kind of make his own rhythm section before he plays on top of that. If you're interested in learning more about the looper pedal and that technique, leave a comment in the comment section below letting me know. Ed is definitely not the first or only person to do this. It's a very common technique, but he's probably the most famous, so that's why I'm going with him. Now probably his most common technique is the thumb slap. Doesn't seem like much, but it does get a lot cooler, I promise you. So in a standard drum beat, one of the most basic drum beats you can get, you basically have a bass drum and a snare drum. The most basic drum beat alternates between the two. You can kind of replicate this on a guitar with a bass hit right there, and then a snare hit as the thumb slap. So when you alternate the two, you kind of get a drum beat. And that's kind of what we're doing when we use this technique most of the time. So the bass is going to be on beat one, a snare is going to be on beat two, then a bass again on beat three, and the snare on beat four. Now Ed will often leave out the bass hit and just play the snare on the two and the four, which gives a really nice strong rhythmic feel to his songs. And you can see it in a decent amount of his songs, and you can actually check it out if you haven't seen it in my fingerstyle version of Perfect, which you can check out wherever it's linked up here. But today I'm going to show you the riff from Small Bump, which is one of his older songs, but it's probably one of my favorite riffs actually of Ed's. So I'm going to walk you through that today, and we're going to learn some snare hits. So you can see the tab on the screen here, and I'm just going to play it for you first so that you've got an idea of what it sounds like.
quick side note. I just got this footstool on Amazon and it's fantastic. It saved me so much back strain. If you're like me and you play guitar for a lot of time, I would highly recommend one of these. I got it for like 20 bucks. If you want to check that out, I'll put a link in the description below. It's actually one of my favorite products right now. Now I'm going to go through the fingerstyle parts pretty quickly because I'm going to expect you've got some basic knowledge of fingerstyle here. If you don't, then you can check out the links in the description below for my beginner fingerstyle courses, which will get you up to speed on this so that you'll be able to go through this a lot easier. Okay, so you're going to start by grabbing an E minor chord on your left hand. And then with your thumb, first and second finger on the right hand, you're going to play strings 5, 4, and 3. And that's on beat one. And then on beat two, we're gonna do our first thumb slap. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your thumb and hold it somewhat stiff, and you're gonna smack it on the string. Now I find it easiest to smack kind of in between the fifth and the sixth strings because then it's easier to not miss it. And you've gotta use some force. You can't just do this super lightly or you, you won't get any sound. So you want the motion to be mostly with your wrist and kind of almost like you're rotating and smacking down on it. And just try that a few times and see if you can get kind of a consistent click sound is what you want. And then the other thing you do to avoid the string, other strings ringing out is with the rest of your fingers, kind of curl them in and when you smack down, you just gently rest those fingers on the other strings. Or in slow motion, it's not going to make the sound, but it's going to look basically just rotating your wrist, keeping your thumb relatively straight, and you're just going to rotate it into the string. So let's go back to the riff with your E minor. Play that first chord with, the first, with those three fingers and then do a thumb slap. And then you're gonna keep that chord and play five, four, three with the same fingers that we did before. And then after that, you've got another thumb slap. You can go even slower if you want to. Go at your own pace. It takes everyone a different amount of time to get used to it. And then you can kind of follow along with the tab. I'm not going to go step by step through the entire tab. The idea of this video is more to focus on the percussive hits. So moving on, you can see where the tab goes to. So basically the important part to notice here is that you've got on every beat two and every beat four, you've got that thumb slap, which gives you a really consistent percussive rhythm, which really kind of helps with the groove of the song and adds a lot of percussive accent that you wouldn't normally get with a solo acoustic guitar. And it's by doing little techniques like this that we can really make our playing a lot more interesting sounding. It, it takes a little while, but the next steps of that are to add in you know, the bass hits and some other percussive techniques hitting in different areas of the body. And that's called percussive fingerstyle guitar, which is actually my favorite type of guitar because you can kind of get a drum set and a bass guitar and a regular guitar in one single instrument. So Ed does a lot of that by looping, as I mentioned earlier. That kind of makes it so that you can just do one thing at a time instead of kind of doing it all at once, which makes it a lot easier but the percussive rhythm really adds to it and really makes it more interesting. Now one final thing is I'm seeing if there's enough interest for an actual percussive fingerstyle guitar course. 
it's a lot of effort made to make a course, so I kind of want to do it only if there's enough interest and only if you guys actually want to see that kind of thing. I've got a link to sign up for kind of initial test that you can check out in the description below. And if I get enough people interested in that, then I'll make that course and then you guys will be the first to know. And anyone that signs up for that list will get a pretty sweet discount on it when I release it initially. That just about does it for this lesson.